All right, hey y'all, I'm back with another video. Ah, oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that was a week. Whoa, but forget that. So, y'all, back with another video. And today's video, I'm not, you know, I've done videos sort of similar to this one. I've done my Columbus State Academics Likes Dislikes. I've done my Columbus State Freshman Experience. And today, I'm bringing y'all the third, the Columbus State Sophomore Experience. This was requested as well. I put the poll out um, for the room tour, like to vote on the room tour and to vote on the CSU Sophomore Experience. And the room tour kind of got more likes, so that's why that one kind of got put out before. And then, today we're doing the Sophomore Experience. So I'm going to tell you guys, like about my journey as a sophomore and how it ended so quickly due to coronavirus <sighs> and let's tell you how it ended so quickly so we hopping straight into it first and foremost for me um most important thing was housing of course so at csu we have two different campuses we have main campus and then we have river park campus which is basically downtown campus so as far as it goes for housing I don't want to say we're considered like sophomores were considered upperclassmen because we really weren't in a sense but we were so basically the housing um for sophomores the main campus you have courtyard south you have courtyard north you have maryland circle and if i'm not mistaken i think some sophomores ended up having to stay in clearview which is basically freshman dorms but i don't know how that situation really worked out for a lot of people because i wasn't in that situation thank god um i was bliss enough to be able to be in the sophomore or upper classmen living you know and then you have river park campus living which includes fontaine hall oglethorpe one arsenal and the ranking and this year your girl is staying at the ranking i'm so excited i'm nervous um junior year it's a big year this year guys like this year is really big for me. Um, start my teaching program classes. You know, we going in, you know, like this. Okay, y'all. Uh, sorry about that. My camera died. And it said it was a full battery. So, I don't know why. But like I was saying, um, I'll be in the ranking this semester. I'm so excited. Um, I think it's going to be a great year, if I'm not mistaken. Um. You know, the virus going on, wearing masks is the new normal. Social distancing is the new normal. Um, so, I think everything will be okay as long as, you know, us as the students, we follow protocol and do what we're supposed to do. We should be fine. But, back to the video. Um, next thing I'm going to talk about is my housing uh, sophomore year. So, Courtyard South consists of, um, we have different buildings. Say so you have buildings A through E if I'm not mistaken and then Courtyard North was buildings F through I can't really remember because I wasn't in North but for South I stayed in building C and I was on the second floor C10 <laughs> I miss C10 but I was in C10 so basically Courtyard consists of you have four bedrooms in Courtyard South you have four bedrooms two bathrooms full kitchen full living room courtyard north you have four bedrooms everybody has their own private bathroom and it's a full kitchen full living room and i really wish i could have got in north but the waiting list so long you kind of i feel like you kind of had to have privileges in order to get in north because they were going this fast so for south i basically shared a bathroom with my roomie my baby yes you know and we shared our bathroom we all had me and all my roommates had individual rooms so i got to decorate my room how i want to you guys should go check out that video it's my moving vlog um yeah go check that out and so basically um i had my closet all that good stuff we had cable but the cable was horrible okay yeah please um wi-fi was horrible too why wi-fi and cable were like the two main things like just it was bad y'all um and i had my fire stick but it was still like 
dang like can I get some good connection or something going on because I can't live like this I needed to tune into my Grey's Anatomy and I needed to tune into my Love and Hip Hop I needed to tune into all my shows and I could not do this because the cable and the Wi-Fi was just messed up um but eventually it kind of got better over time so I was okay and then y'all the first few weeks of me in there y'all air stopped working and y'all like it was always mind you it's august so it's already hot outside and then our air not even working so it's just hotter like no like it was sad like i wanted to cry i wanted to leave because it was just that bad so we had the full kitchen of course you got a refrigerator stove we had to bring our own microwave which was kind of you know i guess cool I'm kind of glad it didn't come with a microwave, but, you know, yeah. Like, we had to bring our own microwave. Um, bring some raid. Raid, 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 raid. Get the raid. Like, I swear, y'all, you will not be disappointed. Bring some raid. Ooh, matter of fact, bring these two. Okay, I'm back, y'all. So, make sure you get some raid. Also, go purchase some of these little roach repellent think whatever go purchase some it's a four pack for twenty dollars if i'm not mistaken at bed bath and beyond because these gonna be your best friends when you move into courtyard's house because baby i'm already not a roach person so this just like y'all like oh so ugly like they would come spray every month but what spray what like because that didn't stop them. But these these helped out a whole lot. Um, and make sure like when you first when you're first like when you first moving into the courtyard south, you should definitely go ahead and plug these in and spray and just clean every single thing. Of course we gotta clean now, like with everything going on. But definitely make sure you do that because yeah, purchase these. These gonna be lifesavers. Me and my roommates, we all have one in our room, we had one in the hallway we had one in the kitchen we had one in the living room because it was just that ugly so yeah y'all just make sure y'all purchase those and we really didn't have an issue with the bathroom situation like bathrooms was good we made sure we cleaned up behind ourselves and all that good stuff um we had a really big mirror like okay so how it's set up for me like you walk in the way our uh, the way our apartment was set up you walk in and you automatically can see the living room and then like you have this little um I guess like lookout view from the kitchen so like you can see the kitchen then you walk around the corner you see the rest of the living room it came furnished with the couch a chair it came with like a little dining table and two chairs um then you walk you have like the first bedroom like for hours our first bedroom was right there that was one of my roommates rooms and then the other three were in the hall and then you walk right there like to the little hallway like the little small hallway right there where the little thermostat at and like on both sides of the hall is two sinks and mirrors. The mirrors were the mirrors were a decent size, and it was enough um, storage space under the sinks. That thermostat, baby, that thermostat gonna be your friend, okay? At one point, y'all they tried to like you know not allow us to change the thermostat how we wanted to. And they try to cut it off on us and just change it to a certain temperature and leave it at that. I don't know who they thought it was fooling, but no, I don't think so. So, um, we had some nights where we would be changing it because who finna live like this? Not I. So, um, yeah, those were basically the things about the room and, you know, things I want to touch on as far as, I guess you can say, the cons. The pros were I had my own room, of course. Um, I had my own space, which was kind of a big difference for me from freshman year. I had my own space, and I truly enjoyed it. <sighs> Y'all, both of my batteries died from my camera. So, I had to take a little detour, but we back. So, I think I left off with talking about the rooms, and I was talking about the cons of the rooms, if I'm not mistaken. So, I'm going to get into the pros, you know, having my own room, of course, having my own space, you know. Um, being able to shut the outside world out whenever I needed to, or whenever I felt like I just needed to take a breather and a break and get away from everybody. I had my own room to come back to, which was great, and I loved every bit of it. Um some good parts i had my own kitchen i didn't have to worry about being like 
in clear view and like going down the hall to the kitchen I could just go outside my room and my kitchen is right there that's another pro um um let's see so it also the, it, it came with like a laundry facility like laundry room facility not within the apartment but like outside it was like basically I guess you could say the center of the apartment like area um so basically we had the laundry house laundry room whatever you want to call it and it had all the dryers and washers and it had like a little chill spot you could sit in if you didn't want to like leave your clothes in there and that was cool too it wasn't too far from building c can't speak for everybody else and how far it was from them for them but i know for me it wasn't that far it was literally right across the parking lot so um so now we're gonna get into my schedule y'all so fall semester i had 16 credit hours fall semester five classes and 16 credit hours <sighs> yeah i think fall semester had to be one of the toughest semesters for me um because a lot was going on during fall semester and that definitely had to be one of the toughest semesters for me but i got through it and i passed all my classes um i had biology i had tech class i had history i had two really had two history classes i guess um, and then I had a intro except learner in generation ed. So basically like a class for my education, you know, for my major basically. But that definitely had to be a hard semester. 16 credit hours. Because, you know, like for soft, well, for any college student, the, the minimum credit hours you can take, I guess, I think during a full t semester is 12. Um, I was never taking, like, from the jump of me being at TSU, i have never taken 12 credit hours. All my credit hours have either been 15 hours or higher. I think the highest number of credit hours I have had was 18 credit hours. Like, I be putting in that work. Okay. Don't play with she. Because I put in that work. Okay. And so then spring semester came. And this when Rona came along. I mean, I feel like she was already here, but, you know, this one it got exposed to the world. And this is the semester I had 18 credit hours. Mind you, it got cut off in March. They kicked me out of my apartment. And it was just sad. And I had science. I had a Jan term. So, basically, that's like a class I take. Um, I took that class in two weeks. Like, I literally took that class in two weeks and finished that class. And I got... I can't remember exactly how many credit hours. I can't even see. I think I got two or three credit hours. Two week class passed with an A. It was quick and it was fast paced, but it was worth it. I got that class out the way. I had math. I had two PE classes. Mind you, Rona to kick me out of my room and I got two PE classes I had to do at home. How did I make it happen? By the grace of God. <laughs> and then I had, um, history and then I had psychology I think psychology had to be one I don't want to say it was a challenging class but it definitely was a class that opened my eyes to a lot of things um as far as it pertains to the mind and the heart and the way the body functions and all of that good stuff um and I also had a big paper due in that class and y'all I made a 98 on that paper like and how about she only gave me she gave me two points off because my name was in the wrong spot y'all <laughs> like sis two points because my name in the wrong spot but it's college they kind of very um they're very i don't want to say tedious but they're very you know spot on about things when it comes to papers that we have to write so i got two points taken away because of my name in the wrong place it's cool not tripping so yeah that those sophomore year definitely had to be you know a curveball thrown at me. I had to wake up and definitely smell the roses. Um, 16 hours fall semester, 18 hours um, spring semester. On top of my extra five that I took for summer classes, I had three summer classes. One didn't offer me a credit um, because it was just my induction into early childhood. So it was okay. Um, so yeah. Next, I'm going to talk about my Cougar Cash. 
my ID, transportation, all that good stuff. So with Cougar Cash for sophomore year, I got $550 on my ID. And basically, it's like the money, like I described, you can use it at the pods, you can use it at the Chick-fil-A on campus, the Subway, the Einstein. Um, Where else can you use it? I think that's about it. You swipe in and out of buildings and your rooms, all that good stuff um, to get used with the ID. So I got the Cougar Cash. And then I had unlimited meals in the cab freshman year. But sophomore year, I only got 170 meals. And y'all, I barely went in there. I don't even think I went in there 70 times. The cab food is just, it's a year later and they still, I don't understand. I probably never will. Um, yeah, sad. <laughs> Moving on. So, in transportation, I got my car last year. I was so happy. <laughs> yeah, like my dad drove all night and brought me my car. And I was so grateful for that car. You know, that is my baby, okay? Like, no, for real. Like, being a college student on campus with no car was hard enough. Um... Because me and my friends, we was always walking to the mall. We walking to Burger King. Walking down the street to them parties. You know. Um, so that car definitely came in handy. And those same people that walked with me was the same people that rode in my car with me. I don't let any everybody just get in my car. Um, no. Those were the same people that rode with me. Study time. Being in the room by myself kind of allowed me to study how I wanted to. Which was great. Um, I didn't have to worry about, you know, a lot of noise or anybody distracting me. And then I also was in the, I was in the library more um, sophomore year than I was my freshman year. And I utilized it more. I took advantage of that library more. And I'm kind of glad I did. Because, um, yeah, it was some nights, you know, I had to be in the library. I had to go print papers out because I didn't have a printer in my room. So I would have to go print papers out. I have to type things up. And I didn't want to get comfortable in my room and just be in there knowing my bed is literally right there. And I'm like, okay, I'm done with this. Let me get in my bed. Like, I didn't want to be that person. So I definitely took the time out to study. I had my flashcards. I had my highlighters, my pens, my notes. Um books anything that I needed to study I definitely took the time out to study some nights I would be up all night literally studying like it was just that crazy parties who knows turn up you know y'all these were my last set of parties cuz I ain't partying no more because Rona I can't party no more like so these were literally my last set of parties and I enjoy everyone <sighs> like y'all just I never went to a party alone um I always had my friends with me I was with my god sister and her friends like I would never go to a party alone because things happen and the world is cruel you know it can be extremely cruel people are cruel and I would never go anywhere alone don't pick up no cups at no parties and no, I do not condone drinking. But please don't put your cup down and just pick it back up. Like, no, never. I, I've seen this way too many times at parties. And I'm like, ma'am, sir, what are you doing? Um, It was always hot, you know, just, ugh. But I had a good time, though. So that is all that matters. And I'm really going to miss partying, y'all. Like, that was my getaway. Anytime, like, after I was done with work, after I was done with studying, after I was done um, with a big test or something, I was going to somebody party. I don't care who party it was. I was going somewhere. Y'all yeah, really enjoyed somewhere like and having my car, you know, allowed me to be more accessible to parties and whatnot because I would be taking Ubers. Like me and my friends would take Ubers our freshman year to parties, and we didn't really have to now because I had transportation. Even though at some point people, you know, we still had to take Ubers, but. At some point, it didn't happen. We None of us had to take Ubers anymore. So, that was definitely a blessing in disguise. Um, we always made sure we were safe. We always made sure we were together at the party. We left together. Nobody was left behind. So, I had a great group of friends. They're like my sisters and my brothers. And I love them to death. And last but not least, I'm going to talk about my volunteering hours and organizations on campus that I was involved in. Well, really, organization, because one, I wasn't 
too much involved in like I wanted to be. Um, so basically, I did a lot of volunteer hours. I did a lot of hours at schools. Like my freshman year, my first semester, I was at a kindergarten. I was in a kindergarten class. Then my second semester, freshman year, I was in a fifth grade class. Then fall semester of sophomore year, I was in a first grade class. And y'all, when I say that is where my heart is, first grade is definitely where my heart is because mind you I had to juggle my school work I had to juggle my real work my job I had to juggle studying I had to find social time I had to get these hours in you know to be able to move on to the next you know semester I had to have at least 30 hours of um experience so I got the real life teaching experience I got to sit in a teacher's classroom and see how she operates on a day-to-day -day basis and I loved my first grade it's like truly loved them like that was my favorite um out of all three that i've been kindergarten fifth and first first grade was definitely my favorite and that's where my heart is set on so i definitely enjoy doing my volunteer hours and getting dressed up like a teacher and going like i loved it um i was involved in collegiate women on campus i got officially inducted in september of 2019 you're looking at an official member of cw hashtag i love my cw and i truly love my cw um i love my girls we hosted a lot of events on campus we did a lot of little you know here and there um i know we had a cake pop sale one time we had a um, thing where we were selling candy for something I can't remember exactly or we were giving away candy it was something we were doing we had all sorts of things just raising money and making sure we gave back within the community and um, I know one event we did at the um, Girls Inc if I'm not mistaken and I participated in that and when I say that was just an experience within itself and I truly enjoy being able to give back even though it wasn't my community I still gave back I put my time in to just be there with these young girls like that were younger than me that wanted to pursue careers when they became older that wanted to attend college and just us being there talking to them about it being there around them um us just enjoying each other's company like we had different activities set up for them within their building like we it was i enjoy cw like i truly love my organization um because it's i truly enjoy it like we do so many things within the community and i love it every bit of it i was also in sac i didn't participate with sac as much as i wanted to which is students activity council and i wish i could have but i was like like collegiate women literally like was where my heart was set and I hate it was like that like cause I really wanted to do both and I just couldn't juggle both I don't know why I just <sighs> y'all it was just crazy but y'all like sophomore year was definitely one for the books great vibes good parties you know i had a little tears here and there but we got through it and we survived um i'm a piece of advice i could give um just going into my sophomore year and being done with my sophomore year would definitely be patience is key and um Hmm, I can't think of anything else. I know patience is key would definitely be one because a lot of things don't happen right when you want them to happen and you just have to be patient and eventually it will happen. Um, another thing is balance. Ba I can't even say anything else with that balance. Like balance is everything. I had to balance my time with this. I had to balance my time with that because sometimes I couldn't do what I wanted to do because I had to prioritize and I had to commit myself to other things so I would definitely say balance and patience is key those are my two pieces of you know advice for my sophomore year that I tried to give myself throughout the year and if I could go back it's a lot of things that I would take back it's a lot of things that I would do over again because life happens and it throws curveballs at you all the time and you know a few curveballs were thrown at me and I survived those curveballs I am a survivor okay I survived my sophomore year at Columbus State and I am beyond proud of myself if nobody else is so y'all make sure you give this video a big thumbs up
make sure you hit that subscribe button below that's right there yeah like <laughs> right there make sure you hit that subscribe button below make sure you turn on those post notifications to know when i post Make sure you share this video and make sure you comment below any questions that you have or anything um, as it pertains to Columbus State. Anything like that anybody needs to know. Just make sure you put those comments below. And y'all stay tuned for next week. You a bad girl and your friends bad too. Oh, you got the swag, saucy, drippin' swag goo.